What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Cam ATL, and welcome back to another player prop video with your boy. Drop a like down below because I already know you're going to love it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Comment anything in the comment section and enter your name into the $50 giveaway that I do every single week on this channel. It is Taco Tuesday, baby, and you already know there's no better place than PropsMadeEasy.com. Only $20 a month, baby. The best tools on the planet for the least on the planet. Anyway, let's get straight into it, baby. All right, heading over to the PME Tools. Okay, also, reminder, the Fantasy League headquarters. Okay, remember, we have the Fantasy League headquarters over at Props Made Easy that'll give you fantasy long, uh, season-long fantasy projections. We'll give you our rankings on those players. We will have weekly rankings on top of weekly projected stats. You guys know we specialize in projected stats at Props Made Easy. To help you just dominate your fantasy league. So if you're in a fantasy league this year, easily get that top spot utilizing the projections and stuff from the fantasy league headquarters. Easily be able to decide who, what players are better than others with our fan, uh, with our comparison tool, player comparison tool. That'll give you their projected stats for that week and put them against each other in a matchup pretty much and show you who's better to play head to head. Um, so yeah, fantasy league headquarter tool. You can get access to our fantasy league headquarter product for only $15 for the entire NFL season. Okay, that doesn't cover the player props. It's a separate thing, but it'll help you to dominate your fantasy league. So if your draft is coming up and it's here soon, a lot of people are starting to draft now. You need the fantasy league HQ behind you. Okay, get that. Let's get it. All right. So getting into the PME tools, though, and the props for today, we're going to talk over NFL real quick. Not much has changed. You have Jordan Love at the top of the list. His line on prize picks is 257 and a half. It's still 251 and a half on other sports books. That's a minus six passing yard differential. I like the under on Jordan Love's 257.5. CJ Stroud still on the over. Line at 266.5. Other sports books are on 271.5. That's a five sports book differential from where the line is on prize picks opposed to where it is on average everywhere else. Dak Prescott, line's at 259.5. We like the over here. Five sports book differential, 264.5 on other sports books. Baker Mayfield, we like the under 243.5 at a minus 4.5 sportsbook differential. This line's 239 on average when you look at all the sportsbooks. Aaron Jones, under 67.5 at a minus 4 sportsbook differential. Other sportsbooks have this at 63.5. Um, and then we have George Pickens, under receiving yards of 60.5 at minus 4. Other sportsbooks are at 56.5. Justin Jefferson, under 90.5 at a minus 4. 86.5 on average, so a lot of solid spots for NFL still. Nothing there, nothing there. All right, moving on to MLB. Okay, so for MLB, at the top of the list, we got a couple interesting options. Now, they're not green chances to hit. Now, you can sit back and you can wait for that to hit that green, right? Obviously, we want to consistently stick in those green chances to hit. Those are going to be your absolute best bets, but... There's a little bit of reasoning here why you can side with a Bryce Miller over 15.5 outs or a Nick Pavetta under 5.5 hits allowed. And the reason being is because of this highest odd. Now, 52.89 is incredibly close to 53%. 52.45 is pretty close itself, right? Minus 142 odds is as high as this gets. If you check over on Caesars, you will see that Bryce Miller's over 15.5 outs has minus 142 odds. That's really good. Okay, that's that's really, really solid. P player projection is 17.28, a full almost two outs higher than where his line is on prize picks. So this is an interesting play. The highest odds at minus 142 and the projection being almost two points higher than where the outs is on prize picks tells me that this will probably end up a green eventually. And you can go ahead and get it in. Nick Pavetta, under 5.5 hits allowed. 52.45% chance to hit. Minus 135 PME consensus when you average all the sports books together. All right. The highest odds get up to minus 143 on Pinnacle. Projection of 4.95 on minus 0 0.55 differential. So you got the minus 143 highest odds over on Pinnacle, which would tell you this should rise a little bit, whether it hits the green or it just goes even higher in the 52%. Either way, it's looking like a solid play. All right. Um, let's check some other sports books, see if we got any green out here. Bryce Miller still at the top of the list over on Underdog. Looking on better picks, you have Martin Perez's. We got a green. Martin Perez, over 5.5 hits allowed at 53.57% chance to hit. Minus 141.4 consensus odds. 
It gets as high as minus 145 on Bovada, and we have him projected for 6.39 hits allowed. So solid spot there. DK pick six. Martin Perez over 5.5 hits allowed at 53.57. We just talked about him. And then Jake Berger over 1.5 hits runs RBIs at 53.33. Dude's been hot. Minus 140 PME consensus odds. Gets as high as minus 150 on Bovada. We have him projected at 1.89 hits runs RBIs today. So solid spot for DK pick six. Boom fantasy. Nothing crazy there. Dabble. Cole Reagans over 6.5 Ks. On Dabble is a 53% chance to hit. Minus 138 PME consensus odds. Gets as high as minus 148 on Caesars. And we have him projected for 6.98 strikeouts today. Over on Vivid Picks, nothing crazy. The Bryce Miller play is in, in play over there. But that's about it. All right. Also, I wanted to show y'all. Goblins are up. You click on Goblins, it'll show you the absolute best Goblins in order. So the best Goblin today would be DJ Harris over 4.5 Ks. Hits a 60% chance to hit. It's got highest odds upwards of minus 190. Nick Pavetta, over 4.5 Ks, is a 55% chance to hit Goblin. Uh, minus 150 is the highest odds it gets up to. Okay, obviously when it comes to Goblins, you're going to have the higher probabilities. You're going to have a, a good bit of green chances to hit. You want to pair up that best Goblin with one. Of, let's say you only have one play on prize picks that you absolutely love. That's a green probability or, or almost a green probability and a great play. But you can't find a second one to pair him with. Switch over here to Goblins, take the DJ Hairs, uh, K's over, and rock with it. Get that profit. You feel what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's why the Goblin tool is really cool. We don't do a Demon tool just because Demons will never be statistically sound plays. Okay? The only thing that these people go off of when they choose Demons is, oh, how many times have they hit the Demon in the last five games? Like, it's super, like rookie level data that they're going off of because most data is going to tell them not to do it so the reason we show goblins is because we promote smart plays goblins of course are going to be smart plays because their chances to hit are going to be higher you're taking less risk and you're still getting profit that's the point that's what we want to do we want to take the least risk and we want to make profit looking at first inning runs Giants and the White Sox are at a minus 128 consensus odds on the under first inning runs allowed 51.22% chance to hit. I will sit back and wait for one of these to get green, to be honest with you. MLB Fantasy, Gunnar Henderson. We like the over again on his batter fantasy score. I know he let us down yesterday, um, but his I like the over again, going back to the well here with his line over only at seven. Other sportsbooks still have this at nine and a half. They still love Gunnar. 2.5 sportsbook differential. Matt Olson over 5.5 batter fantasy score, feels way too low. Other sportsbooks have this at a 7.5, a 2 sportsbook differential there. So some good spots there. All right, for WNBA, the best odds we have on prize picks is minus 132.5 consensus sportsbook line for Satu Sabali on her points plus assists, under 22.5 points plus assists. Over on underdog, we do have a green, though. Dierica Hamby, okay, under 8.5 rebounds is a minus 138 consensus odds. So solid spot there. Over on Vivid Picks, nothing crazy there. DraftKings Pick 6, we got some good ones. Stephanie Dolson, under 5.5 rebounds at a minus 148. 54% chance to hit. Stephanie Dolson again, under her 10.5 points at a 53.3%, minus 140. And then Dierica Hamby, under 8.5 rebounds at a 53%. All right. Moving on, nothing there for PGA. For MMA, we got a big one. Cortavius Ramayas. Over 20.5 significant strikes at a six sportsbook differential. Other sportsbooks had this at 26 and a half. Absolute stud of a play early on this week. Moving on to tennis, a bunch of 0.5s, nothing too crazy. You know I kind of like more than 0.5 differentials when it comes to putting players in my slip, but you can play any of these that you see on the screen there. I'm not going to break any down, but you can go any of those that are at 1.5s. For soccer, nothing available now, but we are working on the soccer tool to get some plays up. Um, nothing for Call of Duty or League of Legends. For CS2, we have RO1F, over 11.5 first two map kills at a two sportsbook differential. Consensus odds at 13 and a half. DSSJ, over 11 first two map headshots at a 1.5. DemQQ, over eight first map headshots at a 1.5. Some solid options there. And then last but not least, Valorant. We have Zekin plus Tens plus Zealous, under 98 first two map combo. 96 first two map combo at a minus 1.6. As always, 
Thank y'all for joining me. Hopefully, I was able to get y'all on some of the best picks early on today. Thank y'all for joining me. I'll see y'all in tomorrow's video. Peace.